Okay, so this one actually was difficult. To clear it, you need three starting three-star characters, as well as you need to kill five of these purple mushrooms over the course of a fight with a single target attack, and that attack cannot be a dual attack. So the best characters for this on paper would have been Raz, Taranor Guard, and Doris, but since you cannot pick up the weakness from a guaranteed dual attack, it makes things a lot harder. And when I tried doing it in that route, I was eventually successful in getting weakness, but because I lacked any AoE damage on the team, when we get late into the later stages of the fight, and you'll see this in the video, Elson starts summoning mushrooms that are much larger, that are ready to ult immediately. And you just simply cannot burst them all down before they explode and you die. Simply put, the team is just not fast enough with Terran or Guard. So I needed to improvise and go with a AoE damage dealer that could help me basically mow down all the mushrooms once I have the weakness. And that was Mercedes. Now Mercedes provides a different challenge here because she actually is too good at clearing this floor. And she also does not have any single target attacks, which means she cannot actually clear any of the mushrooms. Which meant that my third character had to be a three star with good single target damage, which is why I chose Aiden. Aiden has a defense break in her kit. She has a very powerful single target nuke, which lets me pick off mushrooms in order to get add to that kill total to build towards that weakness. And then her S2 is an AoE, which is super good at the start of the fight, as well as right before Elson ultimates. It provides unbuffable to all enemies when it hits them, which means that he cannot give immunity, defense buff, or dodge to any of his mushrooms, which makes them much, much easier to deal with. Doris is here because we needed another 3-star. We still needed a Soul Weaver. And I know what you're thinking, why not Montmorency? Well, the reason we chose Doris is because Doris has a passive where your whole team gets healed every time she's attacked by a Dark Unit. So by putting her in the front with Candlestick, we essentially get a bunch of free CR pushes, a bunch of defense buffs, and a bunch of free healing. So that's why I knew I wanted to use her for sure. And then Raz, again, Abyss All-Star, even though... We cannot get credit from any dual attacks from his soul burn. He's still great at softening up mushrooms and putting them in the kill range for Aiden. It's really important for you to recognize when you can pick up a kill with a character like Aiden because that's pretty much the only way you're going to be able to get the weakness off on this character is to recognize when Aiden can pick up kills. She is basically the one who's dedicated to trying to pick up all of those stacks for you. At least if you're trying to do this in one whole go, it might actually be easier for many people watching this video to forego the all three star strategies and use a stronger single target character in order to pick up the mushroom clear and then come back and use a team like this in order to get the three star clear because this team is actually, again, too good at clearing the floor at actually killing Elson. It becomes very, very difficult, I feel like, for you to pick it up all in one go with a team like this. You'll notice that as we go throughout this video, um, I basically kind of park Elson at like sub 20% until I can finally pick up the weakness. And so again, this is like largely a sequencing team. You have to just recognize, can I get a kill here? How do I pump the brakes? When do I have to put on, uh, you know, basically put my foot on the gas in order to get more damage here or make sure a mushroom doesn't explode there. So again, this is not as easy, as I feel like, as a lot of the previous floors, which honestly it shouldn't because up until this point, I feel like all um, eight of these floors prior to this have been pretty much a joke. This is the only one I think that took more than two tries. So you, again, you can see Mercedes just chews through this guy. I probably shouldn't have used that S3 there. I was like, I wanted to push him to the next phase, but not having the S3 on Aiden is a pretty big deal. Because again, that's how we pick up most of our, our kills here. So now we're relying on her S1 in order for us to actually pick up a kill. I think at this point, our trial stack is at three. We need to get three more, or two more. There's that nice unbuffable I talked about. So then you'll see when uh, when Elson here goes for this, it's only going to buff one mushroom. Yeah, see, both of these are close to dying now. I 
S3 for a little bit of damage. See, if I had had the S3 here, I would have picked up a kill, and this would have been a lot easier. Got to dodge that other mushroom. Now we're at four. So now all I have to do is just pick that one up, but I'm blind here, so there's no way I can kill this. Again, you notice that me not actually, uh, me actually using the S3 there is why this took longer to get the, the weakness. So don't make that same mistake that I did. You want to hold the S3 and only really use it to exterminate mushrooms. So now we're just going to do is, uh, some damage here, but not go like too, too crazy. Because again, we still don't have weakness. We're missing one mushroom. About this point is when we start pumping the brakes. We're going to get the attack buff here, but we're not going to go hard with Roz here. Because if we get a defense break, we're in trouble here. We'll end up killing him before we get weakness, which is why you see I don't do it. We're at the point now where Arky is almost lethal. Lucky RNL. Dual attack. Now Arky is lethal. So we win the game. The second we get the weakness, we can just pop it. Thankfully, he got a barrier here. Otherwise, like, oh boy. Might have accidentally ended up killing him. Now you can see there's a mushroom with the, the ultimate up. You'll eventually get to a point where those are commonplace. Like, you, you'll get to a point where, like, he's summoning, like, three of those at a time and your team just won't survive. It's kind of like the soft and rage. So now we S3 here. Again, pick it up. All right, that's the fifth one. Now he has weakness, so we just pop Arky and win the game. So there you go. Like I said, this one is a little bit trickier because the proposed restrictions make it so that it is very difficult for you to get a team that can either kill Elson or clear the weakness. So yeah, again, a little bit trickier. Let's take a look at the gear. Roz is still the same junky Roz that I've been using this entire Abyss run. You can use a faster one if you want to make it easier. Doris is not super impressive either. Very low defense. Candlestick is the key, by the way. Aiden, not anything spectacular either. Just some leftover gear I have laying around. I have her on RNL just so she can get some extra value if you want. And then my Mercedes is the same one we've been using for all of these runs. So hopefully this video helps you.